Let us discuss what are the required steps for the installation of the Eclipse ID. We know that Eclipse ID is one of the very popular ID for the Java development. What are the different steps are there for the installation and how to execute one program. So at first we are going for this link that is a, this is a link I have given here. So to how to install Eclipse ID on your system. So go to this link at first. And in that link, you are supposed to select the operating system for this case, it is a Windows, we are selecting this one for the Windows environment and then select the appropriate versions, either 32-bit version or 64-bit version, whatever you are having and then the respective installation will start. So there is a respective URL where you are supposed to go and you are going to get this. So here we are having this 32-bit version or 64-bit version for the Windows environment. And then we are going to select this Eclipse IDE for Java developer. So you are supposed to go for this one. So how to install Eclipse ID on the system? So the next step will be like this. Then select the Eclipse ID for the Java developers and go to the next and install the ID in the correct location, whatever the locations you prefer, the respective folder, you are supposed to load it or install it onto, onto that respective folder. And then after installation successful installation of Eclipse. So now open your Eclipse there and then after completing the installation open up the Eclipse and go to the file under the file we are having the option new and then new Java project and put a project name. So here we have this window will come up if you go for a new project name. So now this window will come up and here you are giving a new project name here and then you are supposed to go for the finish. Now here we are having this so new under this new we are having how to from the SRC folder right click and new class. So you can find that after creating the new project Java project one SRC folder will come you can go for the right click and then you can you are supposed to go for new and then class. So this is a new and then you are going for this class. So this class means the Java class and here the Java class has to be uh, written and you know that the respective class name must be same as the, that of the file name. So that is the file if the file name is my class dot Java. So the respective class name which is going to get executed is our my class. So in this way you are supposed to click on the class that is a new Java class will get created and the respective dot Java program will be also there and there you can write your code and you can go for the execution. So this is the steps. So this is the step with the help of which you can install Eclipse and then you can open or create a new project and under the SRC folder under the project you are going for the right click and then go for new and then go for class and then give a class name and then you can start writing your codes there. Thanks for watching this video.